Hi, welcome to Caterpillar's Edwards Demonstration Grounds. I'm here with Bob Shoup, who's a senior demonstrator and instructor for Caterpillar's BCP Group. Bob, we've been talking about smart attachments today. What does smart bring to a rotator like this, a bucket rotator? We've incorporated, as we have with our smart attachment tools there, we've done some integration with the machine now. So basically our new next generation mini excavators, the, the 306 up through the 310, We've got a TRS system now for those, and what a TRS system is, it allows the attachment to rotate 360 degrees and tilt up to 40 degrees left and right. It's integrated into the monitor on the cab, so the operator at all times can see at what degree he's at, as well as returning back to zero. So there's a button, button in there, like is on our, our dozer blade, that brings the uh, cutting edge back to level. In any configuration you operate this tool, you can always bring it back to home and you can memorize the position you want to be in. So if you want to be at 20 degrees both ways, you can memorize that and then you can bring it back into the other side. So when an operator is cutting a V ditch or working along that. One of the real important things about the TRS system is the integration portion. In order to put a system like this on machines in the past, you would have anywhere from, I've heard 20 to 25 hours of install time. And that's pretty expensive. With the integration that our engineers have done, and I will say they've done a great job because as an operator myself, controllability is key. They've made it, well, after this is put together, the controllability of it is pinpoint. There's no instability, it operates flawlessly. So with that, the install time, if you want to purchase the 306, the 307, 308, the install time takes the dealership about four hours to install. Oh, wow. So it cuts down a lot on labor. The tools are all integrated. You put on our joysticks with that. That allows you to do both all the functions of the MHE, such as our stick steer control now that we have on our new uh, next generation, as well as operate the tool and the attachments. Now, it's a time saver. When you stop and think about how often a machine has to relocate to dig a rectangular hole. Well, in a lot of instances, when you have a TRS system on there with that 360 degrees in the tilt, an operator can get himself in about one position and digging inside a wall, he can dig along there, turn his bucket and continue to dig along a, like a 90 degree square corner, working on the outside of the wall, grading, leveling, ditch cutting, it's all incorporated right in here, and it's a time saver. Yeah, yeah. What does the coupler add, or, or how does it change the performance of the machine in terms of heavy digging or, you know, any kind of, like, pulling out a rock or... So it's, it's a robust system. Yeah. The design is that is for a lot of grading, leveling, and digging. It comes with a grapple, optional grapple on the back. Uh, for setting poles and, and pulling ties and, and doing a lot of salvage work and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's a robust system. I wouldn't be afraid for whatever the machine will stand, so will the coupler. Oh, okay, yeah. And I imagine with the flexibility, especially with that tilt rotator on there, you can get a hold of, of a, lot different, a lot of different things just with the bucket. So what I found out a lot of times when you're, when you're cutting a, a hole and you're cleaning up or finishing up a dig, mm -hmm. it's getting that last little bit of material picked up. Yeah. Well, you can put an infinite amount of positions to do your actual cleaning up without ever moving the machine. Yeah. So it's, it's priceless on that point of that. Application-wise, it's got grading bucket, digging buckets. We've got two different styles of couplers that can be purchased, either an S-type or a cat pin grabber. It can be put on the stick as a pin on. It can be doubled up with a coupler on the stick and a coupler onto the, to the attachment itself. And in order to prevent an accident with that, it has its own mind. There's a block in there that when you want to detach the bucket on the tilt rotator, it automatically knows where it's at and it'll do it. Once you want to remove the tilt rotator as an attachment, you'll pull the electrical line off and put a block in there and then the, then the other coupler works fine. I see, I see. Are there any combinations other than with a bucket that are particularly productive? So yeah, it's set up for all different types of applications and tools. And then if you purchase a pin grabber application, all our cap buckets and attachments fits on the pin grabber end of it. It's quite a combination and variation. Yeah, well, it's interesting how the smart technology is really, really taking these machines and opening up their abilities and, and improving productivity on machines. So 
For example, laying gas pipe or sewer pipe. As a person works down the line with that, they've usually back wheel, backfill with either a pea gravel or a light rock or sand. And when you're doing that, you know, a lot of times with a fixed boom or a fixed bucket without any kind of a tilting, you're gonna put a lot of material in where you don't need all of it. With the angle you can put this bucket in, and then it also has what we call a bucket shake, and within the screen, you can do how much frequency you want to give that bucket shake. So if you're laying a pipe and you want to put a little sand or pea gravel down both sides of it, you can basically put it on about a 40 degree angle and basically pinpoint where you want to drop your sand and go ahead and go to that bucket shake and you'll just rattle that material out oh. alongside both sides of the pipe. Wow. The other advantage with the grapple on the back is once you've dug and you start to set your pipe, you can grab it with that, bring your pipe in and hook them together all from the dexterity of use of the machine because it almost becomes your second set of hands when you're operating it. Yeah, you could really line that piece of pipe oh, up with just, just right with that, with that tilt rotator. Very well, very well. The controllability of it is excellent. Well, Bob, thanks so much for showing this to us. I wish you the best of luck with it. Absolutely. Absolutely.